Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I break down every single goal scored in the Premier League from all the teams. I use my plus over 20 years coaching experience, uh, trying to give you some insight into uh, and ideas to what you might not hear from the idiots on TV, because generally they don't know what they're talking about. So uh, right now we're looking at uh, Aston Villa against um, Luton. Villa are doing well, right? Here's a classic example, Manchester United, if you didn't know. This is a team with pretty much the same players, but with a decent world-class coach. What I mean world-class, is he the top five? No. Is he top ten? Yeah, is he top 15? Definitely. Yeah, he's definitely in the top, sort of top 15 in the world. And this is the difference when you have someone who knows what they're doing. And not only that, though, the club, ah, it's just a difference, the difference of a good coach. So right now we're going to watch this uh, little free kick be taken here. But look at my D, right? Remember, always the D, always the D, guys, always the D. If you want to score goals when you're attacking here, stand here. If you want to defend goals, you stand here. They have no idea right here defending. They're all marking. This guy's kind of got a point. Okay, it's great. But this is very, very, very good play here. See, as that ball's played, he makes his little dummy run and takes that defender away, which is brilliant. So this defender cannot react and go to here because he's already been suckered away by this guy here. Now, this gives this guy here all the time in the world on the ball. So he should just take a touch and finish it. However, let's have a look what happens. Bosh. Bosh. His first touch is terrible. And they've done a good job closing him down, right? Do you see that little skip bounce as it comes in, right? Let's play that again so you don't make the same mistake. When this ball comes across, watch. That's where the ball needs to be dead. But he doesn't... I don't know, he kind of does it, he kind of does it. I blame the pass, maybe. The pass isn't quite good enough. Because the pass is the skip. Yeah, the pass is bounce. Yeah, it's the pass. The pass does the bounce, not the player. Sorry, my fault, my fault. It's, it's so slow, the, the ball getting there. I assumed it was his touch, right? It's not. The ball isn't hit at real pace. If that ball's hit at real pace, these guys can't get out quick enough. I just assumed it was touch because it normally is their touch in the Premier League. It's not. They're normally not good enough. But it's definitely the, part, the weight of the pass is wrong. So he can't just take a touch and then smash it in the goal because they're out too quick. However, what he does do, cuts inside very well. But now here's the problem. The defenders have really got nothing to do except for tackle the ball, and they don't. And he just puts it in a goal. There's one, two, three, and no one really tries to win the ball because they press a little bit too hard, and they weren't ready for just such a little smart, intricate free kick off the training ground, and it worked like a gem. Even though for the bad, bad delivery from the, uh, the free kick taker, he should have fizzed it in much harder. But there we go. Let's go on to the next goal. Overall, this is uh, this is a quality goal here. I like this for a couple of reasons. This is what I call a work hard goal. Um, everyone's working hard to achieve the goal. Watch this. Watch this guy here. Okay, you can see, if you can see it, he starts pulling this shirt right here. This striker here wants to keep the ball. Look at look at him. He's backing up. He's backing up. He's fighting. Every look, you see his shirt coming out here. He's holding him that much. He's pulling this defender out of the way because he wants to hold up and win that ball, and he does it. He is not taking no for an answer, and he is doing his job. There you go. Look at that. He might be pulling his shirt. Thank goodness we don't have VAR, because that doesn't exist in the Premier League, and we've never heard of it. Otherwise, that might have been called. But don't worry about that. Knocks the ball off, off to the runner, and there's no one tracking him. Full, uh, sorry, um, Luton really don't ever have a clue what they're doing, really. They're just they're out of their depth. Uh, and then we're just going to put a ball in. Just, just going to put a ball in and see what happens. Bush just puts it in. And see who's defending it and who's not, which is quality. If you look, he's put the ball in, now he's looking. To see who's who's on the end of it. Ball's knocked back, straight into the danger area. Just because he knows he can't score there. Or what he might have, honestly, if you're a striker, you're going for it. There's a difference in, in sort of player mentality there. Strikers are completely going for it, and the keeper's maybe saving it. Good players are knocking it back into the area here. You can see it's completely and utterly unmarked. And he just finishes it. Everyone does the right thing. He knocks it back. One day I'll... Uh, um, in the off season, I'm gonna do a course uh, about the uh, the coaching funnel, and this is the scoring funnel. So this is where you score goals. Out here is where you don't. Out here is where you don't. So if you're out here, all, all you want to do is pull it back into the scoring funnel. And if you see Manchester City, they do this all the time. That's what they do. But there, uh, there we go. Let's go on to the next goal. Have you ever heard the phrase "go with your runners" as well? This is generally why you do. Um, so look, look how bad Lut uh, Luton are here, right? See this guy running? He's in motion. Everyone else is playing their shape. At no point does someone pick. Start running. What this guy should immediately do, right? If this guy's running, there's no. Is there pressure on the ball? No. So we know that there's no pressure on the ball, right? So that's a problem for us. We'll tick that as a problem. Is there space in behind? Yeah. So there's two problems. Is there a runner? Yeah. That's three problems, right? So we've got three problems. 
what can we do? Can we get to? Can this guy here get to the ball? No, he cannot get to the ball and put pressure on right. So we cannot deal with that option. Can we get close enough to that player to stop in the ball? No, we cannot do without option. What we can do though is take the space away. Do we see that? And that's what we were looking to do right now. We drop in to take the space away. So as this runner goes, he needs to start his run early to take the space away. That's what we want him to do right there. Bosch, do you see how? Look, see his, his hesitation. He needs to be at full sprint. And he was worried there about playing the ball online. Sorry, on, online, on sides and all that sort of stuff. Now, it makes a bit of a meal of it. Next thing he knows, ball's gone around and he's fun, just bundled into the back of the goal. Yeah, not very good. Could have just gone with a runner and dealt with it in the first place. Let's get on to the uh, Luton goal. Luton's going to score a goal. Completely apologise. Luton don't score a goal. As you well know, I don't really pay much attention to them. I just do these real time as you hear me talking. Uh, look, look he, I like this though. He just pops the ball up and lets them deal with it. This is where it comes from. Sometimes you've got to just put the ball in the box and let them deal with it. And it's a, it's a bad ball. What I mean a bad ball, it's a bad ball to defend because there's no pace on it. So you can't just clear it with, with half a touch. You have to sort of deal with it. So as it's coming with no pace, look, he gets it, knocks it, but there's no pace on the ball. So it's not coming down. It's not going... It's, bobbling so now the defender deals with it really well yeah off the post off the back of the keeper and into the goal <laughs> he's not going to score a better goal than that in his career unfortunately it's on his own team that's that's a quality goal but uh, if you like what you see and you like what you hear give us a sub boys and girls i'll see you next time on cash talks football <laughs>